everyone. Saint Luke positions the birth of Christ in the context of imperial Rome and world events. Caesar Augustus, for instance, orders the census of the whole world to be taken. His birth will have cosmic significance. He will be a light to all men and women of goodwill, despite the fact that he came into this world far from the limelight, as it were, and in very humble circumstances, almost unnoticed. In their search, the wise men were guided by the light of the star. Today's feast represents all those who are guided by the light of faith to seek what is true. Truth is not presented to us on a plate. We have to seek and search for it like the wise men did. We know that the church teaches the truth about man and his salvation, but we need to make that truth our own before we can, it can guide our way of thinking and acting in this world. Ultimately, like the wise men, Christ, who is the way, the truth and the life, will be the object of our search. The epiphany also represents those who follow the light of conscience. Now there are many people, some of whom we might know, who appear quite content not to be religious. Some even boast about it. However, we've all got a conscience, whether religious or not. We may ignore it, but it won't ignore us. Unresolved issues of conscience have a strange way of resurfacing in our lives in other ways. But those who come to Mass each Sunday, they are given the opportunity to have their consciences more finely tuned, as it were, by gospel truth, certainly more than those who live purely secular lives. These people, for instance, often form their conscience on what the majority of people in our society say or do. St. Augustine, way back in the 5th century, he says... Wrong is wrong, even if everyone is doing it. And right is right, even if nobody is doing it. Now, this is where Herod enters the scene. Yes, he was interested in the truth about Jesus, but in denial about it. The light of the world, who is Jesus, even as a baby, he was already a threat to him. And he so sets, he sets about extinguishing that light. But the ghost of Herod may live on. Is there anyone whom we perceive as a threat to our mistaken notion of liberty that we'd like to be shut of? Many babies, for instance, are aborted solely because they are inconvenient to young, busy people, depriving them of their so-called liberty. And the same applies to the old. Now the light which is Jesus had come into the world, but men had shown that they preferred the darkness. Even though we have the light of faith and conscience and reason to light up our way in this world, there is no guarantee we'll act in accordance with these things. The Magi, as sometimes the three wise men are called, it says at the end of the Gospel today, they open their treasures. Perhaps our treasure to Jesus for 2018 will be to open our hearts, open our eyes more generously to the light of his truth and like the wise men, not rest until we find the object of our search, Jesus Christ himself. In this way, we share in his epiphany and are a light to the world in which we live. Let me leave you with one question. Pope Benedict said that Christ was born in a stable in order to humble human pride. What do you think about that statement? Now, thank you all for listening again, and God bless you all. Oh.